What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I'm coming at you from the Cenex in Plankinton, South Dakota. I-90 exit 310. We're about 25 miles east of a Loves back there. If you happen to like Loves, there's a nice place for you. But this place here, I'm going to tell you, I don't see this place running out of any parking anytime soon. Um, but just want to touch base real quick. I, I did something the other day that I am never going to do again unless I can't even see a reason to do it. I'll just eat up them hours. But before I get to that, you know, the last video I did, I was about to deliver in Centralia, Washington. I said that I was going to send a message to my fleet manager and have him either pre-plan me or give me an idea where I had to deadhead to before he left on Friday. So, boom came back with the pre-plan 14 hours before my drop it was going to be a drop and hook load picking up from a coal storage in Richland Washington going to Wyoming Michigan which is basically Grand Rapids Michigan it was a drop and hook get there when I get there the load was already ready and the one day these fools take forever to unload me at that UNFI in Centralia was that day so didn't get the load as quick as I wanted to but nevertheless uh, was able to get it and move it forward a little bit not as much as I wanted to but let's talk about what I'm not gonna do again you know once I got done dropping my load you know I looked at different routes to get to Richland Washington and you know there was a route that was a you know basically all highway and there was another route that basically it was US 12 and basically that cuts between Chalais or however you pronounce that Washington and Yakima Washington cut about 60 70 miles off the trip and I was thinking in summer how bad could it be I'm empty let's just go ahead and do that mistake right there I don't care if I was empty not none of that stuff see I'm not no real driver I really don't like driving all that much and that was some damn driving right there you know that wasn't no sit back and relax and just chill out that was you know ups and downs and curves I think they had a downgrade out there it was like 10 percent and I'm talking about some hairpin curves on that thing so uh, I'll, I'll eat the 60 miles next time that was not worth it so anyway, I get out to the coal storage place. Very efficient. I really like that place. Get out there, get my load. Outside of live load cost taking forever to answer the damn phone, uh, it was a pretty smooth transaction. But uh, got the load. I wanted to run my clock out as much as possible, but there was a... Uh, Oh, you know what? I hit my first rest area in a long time. You know, I was looking at my time I had available and looking at the sun in the sky that was kind of disappearing quickly. And I looked at, for me to make any meaningful miles, I was going to have to get past that Coeur d'Alene or whatever, Coeur d'Alene, whatever that is in Idaho. And I was like, you know what? By the time I get there, it's going to be dark and I'm not even trying to mess with that. So I got about as far as I could get. I maybe could have gone a little bit further as a Petro a little further down in uh, Tacoma but I was like you know let me just hit this rest area easy in easy out in the morning and I'll be good to go so I just was not trying to deal with that stuff at night and after that my next two drive shifts which includes this one right here has been some real driving messing with all these North Dakota, South Dakota mountains and all this stuff. I do need to give a shout out to my boy Terry over at Tim Travels when I was telling him I was debating between taking 94 all the way across to like, you know, that Milwaukee area and then down around Chicago and all that Gary, you know, that loop around there or just taking 90, which kind of went down a little bit further south, but did about the same thing. He informed me of another shortcut and I was hesitant to take it. 
after that one in Washington. But uh, basically he said, Lyle, just get on, you know, we're 90 and 94 split off, take the 90, you're gonna go down about 50 miles, you're gonna pass up a Loves, and then uh, Battle of Bighorn area, something like that. There is the 212 that will cut the corner off of that 90 and save you about 60 miles. Now, it wasn't as easy as I wanted it to be. You know, like I said, I've been wanting to do some casual driving, but uh, it did save me about 60 miles, or six, you know, 60 miles, maybe about 30 minutes. So, good to go on that. I've been running my clock down. By the time I deliver this load, I'm looking at my 70 hour clock and uh, when I'm done with my drive shift tomorrow I'm not sure exactly how far I'm going to drive tomorrow I haven't got into that yet but I don't want to go through that Chicago area low on hours so I think I'll be about six I think I'm about 630 miles away from there which is perfect so if I could drive and get kind of in that area shut down and then start driving again. I may take a longer break tomorrow just because I don't want to get where I'm going too early because some of you guys don't leave until the sun's like all the way in the sky. So I might leave in time for me to get there about five in the morning. So I'm not sure what time that's gonna have me leaving, but I just don't want to go through Chicago in the day. So that's, that's my thoughts on it. I'm, I'm checking my hours. I'm probably going to have about three extra hours on my 70 when I deliver. Somewhere in there. So, I might get a chance to chill a little bit because I've been running and gunning. But really didn't have much to say about anything specific. Just wanted to let you guys know. Because I think somebody did leave a comment that I wasn't going to get a load since it was weekend and uh, that kind of stuff. So um, things panned out better than I thought. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.